Hey guys, HinoCBA here, and I am bringing a another deck profile for Pokemon. Haven't done a video in quite a while, I've been quite busy. i uh, got big things planned for the end of this month, which is May. But um, yeah, I thought I'll get back into it with the, uh, the release of Guardian Rises, one of the newer sets. And I thought I'll revisit one of the older decks, which seems to have vanished out of the matter, which is Greninja. Um, I think this deck... Um, didn't wasn't as popular when the new uh, format rotated. You know, Garbodor became more popular, no item removal, and then Grass got more popular with Decidueye and whatnot. So um, yeah, with the release of Guardian Rises, I think this deck has definitely been improved quite a bit, and I'll talk you through the changes which Guardian Rises have done, in my opinion. So I'll start with the Pokemon lineup. We're playing the standard Pokemon lineup, playing four Talonflame and three Froki. Only play three because War Chat the start of Talon Fame then, which is the idle start. Uh, four Frogadier, standard, just don't I hope they don't get prized. Four Greninjas, and three of the break with its great ability, the War Shurikens. Hit for 60, anywhere on the uh, on your opponent's side is great. And then uh, for the couple of the items, uh, playing four Dibble, again, just keeping that consistent searching. Only play Water Pokemon, don't play Shamers or any of the sort. So it's all good with that. And then for one of the new support from Guardian Rises playing that field blower. Um, definitely think this card improves the whole deck, especially getting rid of those items, especially on Garbodor, the main stopper of the deck. And as well, the handy as well, it gets rid of those fighting fury bouts as well. So you can hit those numbers on things which have fighting fury bouts on them, so bring them down to that 180 range, 200 range and whatnot. And then playing two level ball, again searching out those Pokemon which you need, Frogadiers and Throw Keys. And again just trying out the Rescue Stretcher. Um, if you didn't know what it does yet, put a Pokemon from your disc pile, discard pile back into your hand, or shuffle three Pokemon back into your from your discard pile, back into your deck. Sort of like Super Rod. And talking about Super Rod, play one of these, mainly for the uh, putting back the Water Energies. Three Trainers Mel. Only pay three, couldn't find room for the fourth, but if you've got to cut something, got to be the trainer's mail. Four versus Seeker, and then two Rough Seas, one of the better stadiums. I was actually going to play the new Water Stadium, which lets you search a water or a fighting Pokemon, but only realised it was a basic water Pokemon. Would have been broken if it was any water Pokemon. And then for the supporters, still playing the Ace Trainer, because you fall behind on the first couple of turns, so it's nice to play. Uh, one Fisherman, playing that explosive turn where you have your water tokens and breaks it up. One Lysander, only need that because you're hitting damage on the bench as well. Uh, three ends, um, playing three because you do again have slow start so you're always getting that six at the start and as well, you know, we'll go into it with the four sycamore. Um, sometimes you just don't want to discard your Frogadiers and Greninjas, so rather play in to be honest. And then, one of the last item, probably the best item that came out in Guardian Rises and helps the deck out a hell of a lot, is the Choice Band. It increases, it does 30 more damage to active GXs and EXs, so potentially hitting 110 per turn. And I think this replaces Burst and Balloon because I'd rather do the damage on my turn, not waiting for them to attack into me. And as well, they can always play that Lysander and Escape Rope to get around Burst and Balloon. And Choice Band with, if you have a break setup, you're hitting 180. If you have two, 230. And finally, for the energies, playing two special energy, the Splash energy, so you can get back those um, Greninja line if it gets knocked out. Could always bump this up to three, but I think uh, Rescue Stretcher does the same thing. And then. Eight energy, very standard. You just need them for the water shurikens, and if you're like me, you never find those water energy on your first turn, so you can't even, you know, frogadier or town frame first turn. So, yeah, that's the um, deck. If you've got any comments about it, let me know in the comment section below. But um, we'll get a couple games in, one or two, depends on what they're going for. And um, yeah, see you in a bit. So uh, yeah, guys, we're back, and well, just jump into a match really, see what happens. Da -da -da. Hopefully go against one of the newer decks. Packs have been around quite a bit. And we're going against something. <laughs> it's water. Um hopefully it's a new nine towers, that'd be pretty sick to go against, but uh maybe quad lapras. 
and we start Tunnel of Fame and a cheeky level ball, so that's nice. So it's looking good. And wind blower, so fighting for rebouts go about nice. So don't know. Could be water box. It's definitely water. <laughs> it's got arc patches in there, so it's paying a new support as well, which is really nice. So yeah, we'll take the extra doors, we need them. So we find a choice man. Ah, it is Lapras. Probably quad Lapras. So we just cocooing straight away. Also not had a support at the time. And he's just gonna play his turn on. Plays mana fee. Oh that's something. So what we're gonna do just in case just in case we're gonna put two Farukis on the bench just in case he gets some mad Max Elixir Ring Lysander plays but we are gonna Aero Blitz and we are gonna attach a well what's it called choice ban 70 why not and we're gonna go for this and Splash energy. I mean, going for the splash energy in a frog here seems pretty solid because you get it back and he's just going to Kukui again. He doesn't seem like he's found something decent. Oh, a supporter. Let's just get the victory. Well, good job. So, didn't really get to show it off, so we might. Record another game, let's see. Hey guys, and we're back, and we'll jump into a game. Oh, that was quick. Quicker than usual. We should have to wait like two minutes. So, we are playing against something. It looks like Volcanium, but it looks like I'm being deceived with that dark typing. Maybe Umbreon with the uh, Flareons and what not. So, go first. I think it's pretty good to go first in this deck and we will not mulligan that because that hand is pretty decent. I think if you... I don't know. Should I go on... F I mean definitely going first is better because that means you can evolve first turn. But it's the fact that... Hmm. Um... I think you should go, I don't know, going second if you play Wally might be decent, but that's just me. Uh, we'll... Is there any way that can knock me out? I don't... Oh, we'll go for the second throw key. Uh, just in case. And we'll just do that. Pass down. <laughs> so we'll see what we're up against. So we just see an N. Should have attached an energy. <laughs> oh well. Hopefully we'll draw into one. But knowing my luck I won't. Thank you. <laughs> that was good. Good, 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 good. But didn't draw into Frogadier, which is quite annoying. I mean if I knew my opponent is definitely the number one, I would have kept those die balls. So we're just gonna attach a float and pass. Oh. Wow well then. Um see I don't feel ready to Yeah, sure. We'll just we'll get them out now. And we'll just what duplicate. So my opponent doesn't look like he's having a good time because he didn't find an energy and he's lucky <laughs> that my deck slow. So he's playing Umbreon. Manually. Evolves. Can't find my words there. I'm not very good at this. Right. There we go. He's got a second Pokemon on the go. M might be a Tauros. Don't do that. 
No, I can't retreat. <laughs> oh dear. So we're just going to go for a strafe. For the Ultra Ball, for a shaman. If he has them. Yep, get that Enhanced Hammer out of here. You're going to need that. Well, could have. Meh. So it's unfortunate that we haven't drawn into so anything now after the money's end us. A hand was looking pretty nice. See, I have to. Yeah, that play is so silly, but I have to do it. I have to go into the hand of fame and just pass turn. Then I have to fish him enough for. <laughs> Tan and fame, fishing up the water energy. Oh man, that's bad. So making the field blurs looking a bit more effective. Only if he Lysander's out, Frogadier don't mind. Got the uh, rescue shadow bullets. Pew pew. Right. So next turn. We're probably going to get end, but oh, I don't need to go for the fisherman, right? So yeah, just do it now. Why not? Get rid of them. And I will just arrow blitz. Yeah, why not? I will. And a sycamore. Yeah. He's gonna get two prizes right now, which is really annoying. Ah, and he's got the wobble fat. Oh no. Okay, he didn't end, that's good. Is he just going to strafe? A jolt yon short. Guess he can put that down, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, he's going to get two prizes right now. Alright. It's quite good, actually. I mean, usually with Greninja, they would have taken two prizes ages ago, but he did have a bit of a slow start. So that's really annoying. Drawing a Versa Seeker. Right. So just gonna stretch her. And put the Frogadier in my hand. Gonna super rod back all the energy. Probably should have gone for the end instead, but. Oh well. Nice, so we find choice band, choice band. That's really good. That's a good turn. So we're just gonna moonlight flash. 110. Damage. Absolute damage. <laughs> nice. Unfortunately, we're going to lose three Versus Seekers and we're not even half through our deck. Our Fisherman's in the discard pile, which is annoying, but we'll see what happens. So, you're just going to put down the draw you on. I could go for the Lysander. Don't know.
What's he gonna do? I don't know. Is he just gonna do attack for damage, or is he gonna strafe into wobble that? Who knows? So that Ku Kuei put him up to uh, 110. Still not enough. Unless Muscle Bounds back in the format. Yep, Shadow Bullet, right. So he's doing damage, right. Uh, not gonna put down that. Hmm. Find quite a bit with that. Uh, hmm. Should I evolve that into the shuriken one? No, I don't mind losing a Greninja at this point. And we're just gonna Moonlight Slash. Put the water energy back in our hand. Yeah, why not? There you go. Get two prizes. Lysander, which is really nice. So he brings out the Wobbuffet. Right, so. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realise he lost three um oh, alright. Didn't even put this third one in there. So he's gonna Varus Seeker for the N. For the N, of course. <laughs> yeah. Oh, maybe I should have put down the choice band. It's a bit late now. Hopefully drawing to something good. That would do. That will do. So yeah, you can just strafe the knockout, I guess. Bring in that. It's annoying that I don't want to splash energy. Ah, uh, what can you do? That's got a free retreat. And what am I going to find off this trainer's mail? Die ball. Rough seas will do. Rough seas will do. I'm just gonna. No, I don't want to take a knockout, do I? So, uh, I don't know. This wobble that. I mean, I can't knock it out on one hit, which is annoying. But yeah, just gonna just target down the Umbreon. Don't want to take more prizes than him, because I want to play that. Yeah, Alright, seems good. Just gonna pop that. Maybe set up a two prizes right there. Potentially. Never mind. <laughs> no, I don't want to knock that out because then I can use the H trainer and then I would have been stuck, so. I don't support other supporters. He's just gonna go for the strat. Don't know what he's gonna do here. In hindsight, should have targeted down the uh, the Wobbuffet just because I can't one hit K. 
care of it then. But we're going to lose all the water energy. And we're going to find Sycamore. And a choice band. So if he strafes, sure, if he... I just hit it with rough seas. I don't think he plays a counter stadium. Oh no, we've got the knockout on here. Missed it. Hopefully. So, yeah, we've got the knockout now. Right. So, giant warrior shuriken this. I'm just gonna retreat into this. Do this. Do this. And second more. I'd rather do the damage to this. I think that's the threat. Call me wrong, but I think that's the threat right there. So we're just gonna pop that. Do 80. 110, sorry. Get some nice prizes, draw supports. If he doesn't end right now, he doesn't. I mean, N. Do it. Do it. <laughs> oh no, he's gonna go. Yeah, okay, we win now. <coughs> oh no, 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 no. Good strafe. Yep. Actually, that's wrong. Good strafe into the war of effect, and I can't take my prizes unless I find the Lysander. Yep, for so. Yeah, that's the, probably the best place to survive a turn, but unfortunately, yeah, there's no way you could knock me out as well. So yeah, that's uh, that's that really. I mean, the support came in pretty clutch. Those choice bands definitely put in work, definitely better than bursts and balloons doing that damage. So that was quite a long game. Might put two games together, but if not. You might hear the same thing on another, if I do another uh, another game, you might hear exactly the same as this, but that may be the last game, if not, it'll be another game, so uh, if that's it, goodbye for now.